electing to rescue Princess Mashiri. Mont's party makes for Leona's castle. However, Victora and Luartha chose not to inform Glacella of Mont's latest movements. Believing she will emerge victorious, Glacella lets her thoughts run freely, envisioning a false future that will never come to pass. Soon enough, dawn approaches. King Kuri's wicked laughter fills the castle halls. He knows the destruction of Rubius and Glacella's death may well be within his grasp. I see. Lady Marchery has been taken to Leona's castle by traitors of Horn. That seems to be the case. Therefore, we must do whatever is in our power to... Wait just a moment. You're not suggesting that we rescue Lady Masheri on our own, are you? What else can we do? Well, I suppose we will need to gather allies at some point. But there's no time for that now. So you want us to sneak into the castle by ourselves? Because that would be impossible. Impossibly impossible. Well, we can't just leave Lady Masheri to die! A moment, you two. I have received word that Horn Solidus are on their way to Leona's castle, much to our fortune. So we'll be backing Solidus then? No. There is something else that I would like to request of you. What would that be? I need you to travel to Wazette and inform the Leonis forces there of what has befallen Lady Marcherie. The might of Solidus alone would likely be enough to capture the castle. Alas, it would come at a great price. Meaning that Lady Masheri can only be saved if the two nations join forces. Take this with you. It may prove useful. Black Claw. Is this your scarf? If you show this to my husband, or perhaps my sons, surely they would. We will be sure to let the Leonis forces know that you are indeed still alive. No, that will not do. We cannot let anyone know that I survived the battle at Anvil Castle. Huh? But why? Because to others, I have died. My death can be used to my advantage. It could very well bear us a chance to defeat Sodoli and his followers. Understood. Then I will proceed as you've requested, without letting the rest of Leonis find out. I must apologize for foisting my burden upon you two. N not at all. If we hadn't met you when we did, we would be... We most certainly would have taken a different path in life. With that, we shall take our leave. King Elda and Lord Mont will be informed of Lady Masheri's dire situation. We will not fail you. I'm beat. Not that it comes as much of a surprise. Wow, this is curious. What? What is? What? Just because Sosha said she's tired and I didn't? Not that. It just struck me that you really are doing your best. He's right about that. <sighs> to think that we're right back on the road to Leonis. Just when we thought we'd have a chance to rest in that. I thought you would have at least whined about it once by now. But this is the first time we've ever worked together with Caleb, you know? Huh. So your sense of rivalry is keeping you going? 
it's only natural. We are representing Fordham after all. Well, our numbers are also terribly low at the moment. Speaking of which, I've not laid eyes on Etra and the other new recruits in some time. I wonder what's happened. From what I've heard, their morale plummeted after Lilith berated them. So what has happened to Etra? She hasn't gone on the run, has she? Unfortunately, it seems that she's become somewhat of a recluse. Yerma is always by her side, so that's some comfort. But alas... Was there not one more? Um... What was her name again? The one that touted herself as the strongest paladin, right? Right! Her! I think her name was Nasha. Hmm... I thought they were really giving it their all. I heard that they got the boots knocked off of them by Lilith during a Fordham mock battle. But why would that old hag even be there? She's not in Fordham. Because... Because she likes to be seen wherever she can, that one. All she does is nag. It's no wonder men don't want anything to do with her. Just who might you be talking about now? I only did as I was requested by Lord Stern, mind you. Were you not aware? Apologies. <sighs> this lecture is postponed. Prepare for battle! What's the matter? The stars have grown faint. It's a sign of the approaching dawn. Right. Aren't you tired? <laughs> Are you actually worried about little old me? We haven't had a proper night's rest since Leonis. There's not much we can do about that. Lady Moshri waits imprisoned within Leonis' castle. If we don't reach her soon... I know. That's why rest is a luxury we don't have right now. But alas... I hope Lady Glacella is okay. Don't worry. Victor has said that she would explain why we had to postpone. Do you believe her? Huh? I think your feelings for her might be clouding your judgment. I, I, I don't know... I, I don't have feelings for... Uh... You don't trust her, do you? I don't have any proof that she's lying. But my intuition tells me so. Hmm... <sighs> We need to hurry so that we can get back to Wazette Castle as soon as possible. That's all we can do for now. That, we can agree on. Lady Glacella, it is almost time to take the field. Right. I will venture behind the castle to initiate a diversion. Are you sure about this, Lady Miranda? You are our guest from the East, getting involved in our affairs like this. Not to worry. You have been a most cordial host to us Outlanders, Lady Glacella. This battle is an ideal chance for me to return the favor. Alas... If only Master were here as well. Sir Seymour is still on the road, I take it. Yes. It could be that Rundal will finally declare war on Sadali. Or perhaps he is inquiring into the current state of affairs. So, Rundal's invasion has come at last. If that is true, we have no time to spare in overthrowing Kuri and conquering Wazet. Lady Miranda. We will not get a second chance. We must win this battle. I am aware. However, there is no need to fight to the last if the battle seems lost. I do not want to lose any of you. Lady Glacella. I must be off.
We will begin our assault behind the castle at sunrise. And once the enemy has been drawn to your location, we will lay siege to the castle gates. After that, we need only wait for Lord Mont to open the gates and allow our entry. With all the pieces in place, our victory is all but assured. Right. Let us set out, shall we? <laughs> My dagger can hardly stay in its sheath. The day is dawning, Lady Miranda. Indeed. Lady Miranda, your orders! We're ready. You only need to give the word. We will bring down Kuri, even if we must lay down our lives. That will not do. Do not get any grand ideas of felling enemy soldiers or storming the castle. Do you understand me? Your mission is to draw the enemy's attention. If you are ever outnumbered, do not hesitate to retreat. Apologies, but we cannot do that while Lady Glacella is putting her life on the line. I cannot justify us running away with our backs bent over! Worry not. Once Lady Glacella's brigade has stormed the castle, that is when our true fight begins. Then! We will make our way to the castle gates and take to the castle ourselves. Then you can draw as much blood as you like. Yes, ma'am! Dawn approaches. Move out! King Rob. Daybreak. Marching through the night is no easy feat. I was considering a brief rest. No, Your Majesty. We can still... We must rescue Lady Masheri as soon as possible. If we stop to rest now... Be that as it may, now is not the time to weary ourselves. Leonis Castle is notoriously stout, formidable even. The fearless army of Fennis themselves could not take it. Please, Your Highness, do not liken us to Moraga's lot. That was not my intention, but alas, it is worrisome. King Rob? What those Leonis soldiers had said, that Sadali has come into possession of some other ancient relics. Even one relic would have heightened the threat he poses, but four... The... that certainly is troubling news. I wonder, did Sadali take up residence in Leona's castle? Or did he return to Dynevirk Cathedral? Until we know for certain, we should not weary ourselves by any means. Is that understood? Yes, Your Highness. I fear it may have been a mistake to command Adelard's party to Horn Castle. At any rate, let us advance just a bit further. Once we emerge from these woods, Leonis Castle should be just ahead. There, we will take a brief respite, but do not let your guard down. Dawn is almost upon us. Good. I was getting restless. Not yet. What's the matter, big sister? If we don't go soon... If our impatience causes the plan to go awry, it is not us who will be thrust into harm's way. Ah, you have a point. Lady Glacella's betrothed is inside the castle, isn't he? We needn't worry. Mont is a capable man. I believe so as well. His kind nature did cause me some worry when I first met him. But 
But there is certainly more to him than mere kindness. He is also strong enough to have survived the long, treacherous retreat to Wazette. A commotion is coming from the castle! And so it begins. It seems they've fallen for the diversion set by Lady Miranda and her troops. Everyone, I am sorry to have entangled you all in this. Why are you saying this now of all times? This is unlike you, Lady Glacella. Here we are now, Rubius, a fully-fledged rebel organization. But just one generation ago, our families didn't even know the next time they'd be able to eat. Right. And that worry was put to rest all thanks to Lady Glacella's mother and her hard work in the castle. But her mother was... We know all too well that rat Curry will never be forgiven for what he's done. It was not only her mother. For Lady Glacella to have any hope of succeeding the throne, every last one of her relatives must be eliminated, he said. Speaking of which, where is your family now, Lady Glaciella? They are taking refuge at Bordy's castle, at the southern edge of Wazette. Mm, you thought this out, I see. Cory's influence will have a hard time reaching them there. If all rebellion should fail... Wait, Lady Glaciella! Such faint-heartedness! No, I want you to hear this. If our rebellion should fail, I want all those left alive to retreat at once. And join my relatives in Bordy's castle. Is that clear? Understood. To battle, then. For our comrades! For a better tomorrow! For our pride! Lady Glacella, what troubles you? Do you not find it strange? Huh? Though the castle gates have come under attack, why are they so lightly guarded? We've already told you you needn't worry. The fools have clearly fallen for Lady Miranda's diversion and are all back behind the castle. I suppose so. Then that means it's on us to take down these gates. And once we do, we shall join forces with Mont's party inside the castle. To arms! The Wyvern vanished? It must have been evoked from an ancient relic. Hmm. But why would Lord Sodley send Stern here? Perhaps His Holiness is uneasy that we are unaccompanied at the castle. <sighs> He's coming too. Leona's castle? Horn's first division, Solidus, will be upon us at any moment. It should be quite the battle. You will be participating as well, of course. Oh, Horn? That is no concern of mine. You bastard. You dare defy Lord Sodaly. It's just as well. Go rest in your quarters if it will help you stay out of our way. Is that really okay, Caesar? The credit for victory will belong to us alone. That's the only change to the plan, right? So that's your intent. If it plays out that way, it's not a bad idea.